Saudi Arabia's intervention in Yemen, an oil price rally and a sudden loss of risk appetite are driving the action in currency markets. A very interesting 24 hours here. We had, uh, we had some very negative U.S. data yesterday. The durable goods order is coming in really very poor uh, on the core. Uh, and uh, this saw an attempt to sell the dollar again, but then the dollar seemed to survive. And then we had asset markets closing very weakly in the U.S. And then we had geopolitical events overnight with this uh, situation in, uh, in Yemen with Saudi Arabia and other countries attacking. So uh, spiking oil prices up. So the, the market is at odds to, to figure out what's going on. Clearly, the clear outcome for now is that the Japanese yen is significantly stronger across the board uh, on the back of this, which is often the case when you're seeing risk appetite uh, suddenly crumbling. So, any specific trades? Yeah, I think it's really difficult to look at what euro is going to do, euro dollar, because I think uh, some of the euro strength we're seeing is simply position offsetting because short euro trades have been very popular. When you have risk off, people simply look to, to get out of positions. But the Japanese yen, I think, has been very strongly positioned, so I think there could be some more room uh, uh, with this risk appetite, risk off move for the yen to continue to strengthen. So looking at buying the yen versus the likes of, of the Aussie, maybe even sterling, uh, and the, the, the New Zealand dollar as well, looking for a significant move further. Because we've seen some pretty interesting technical breakdowns uh, in the U.S. equity market, for example. And again, this was happening before this ge geopolitical uh, news happened overnight. I'd be suspicious of doing something if it was just that news. It seems something is afoot here.